Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today is an exciting day. Um, as you all saw in our one of our last videos, we built some raised beds and today we are going to plant in them. But before we do that, we're going to take you on our very first garden tour of 2022. I'm Dawn and I'm living the Newcomb life. If you've been following our channel, you know that we plant in all different kinds of ways. Uh, this first one is one of our self-wicking tubs. And in here we have broccoli and some radishes. And um, it does appear that something is, is enjoying our broccoli leaves. <laughs> but um, we also <clears throat> planted two broccoli in our five gallon bucket self wicking buckets and it's kind of interesting because you can see that the broccoli is much hardier here in the tub than they are in the five gallon buckets it's not to say that these aren't doing well or anything it's just they seem to thrive be thriving better in the self wicking tub and this is all an experiment for us as well um, last year we planted broccoli in our garden, our flat garden, and it didn't really, I mean, it, we got a little bit of broccoli, maybe enough for one meal, um, but it really just didn't do very well. So we're trying a different tactic this year, and the tub looks like it's doing very well. Um, this is our jalapeno, and as you can see, we already have some jalapenos on our plant and some little baby ones that are coming along. So jalapeno, doing well. Um, if we proceed down the aisle here, this is a green pepper. And we don't have any peppers on here yet, but we have lots of little buds ready to burst at any moment. And then this is a red bell pepper. Again, um, tons of little buds ready to just explode given the chance so it's just a matter of time this was supposed to be a sweet banana pepper i bought it at our local farmer's market um i think i got a green pepper instead as you can see we have a a big old pepper here which is fantastic but i don't think that this is a sweet pepper a sweet banana pepper so we're not sure what we're going to do about that because we really do like pickling and canning our sweet banana peppers. So we may have to go to a plan B on a sweet banana pepper. Um, here we have more of our tubs. We have carrots and beets and radishes and turnips and everything is doing fantastic. We planted these um, and within two days, we had radishes that had popped up, which is fantastic because last year our radishes didn't do anything. So we're really excited. We need to get in here and thin these out um, so that the ones that survive have the best chance. Um, but th that's probably for another day. So let's move on to the flat garden. So to start out, we have we have a crook neck squash and a straight neck squash. And then we have zucchini. So that's all along here. And we do that on purpose so that when the plants get really big, they can kind of encroach on this little walkway area we have here. Um, and then our next row um, is supposed to be cabbage. <laughs> I'm not sure if it's cabbage yet. I feel like the next row should be cabbage, but that's supposed to be Brussels sprouts. So we'll see as the season goes on if maybe the tags got switched. But um, everything seems to be doing really well, although we do have some little critters that seem to be munching down on our um, brassicas. So here along our cattle panel are our tomatoes. And we attempted because we were so late we dropped some seeds in the various spots and as soon as we did it we realized that the package says not recommended for direct sow in the garden 
So we thought, well, if they take, they take. If they don't, we planted some in little pots to get a start. So, um, but almost all of them have sprouted. So we're very excited about that. We've got a few down here that um, didn't. So we will use our sprouts to fill that in. These two plants we got from our local hardware store and they're doing great. And then this one on the end is a cherry tomato and we have a little cherry tomato on here that's still green, but it's starting to have a little tinge of pink to it. So that's exciting. Got a couple blooms, so we're really excited about that. So we're moving right along with our garden. We have our drip tape system, which is fantastic. Um, down here we have two grow bags and these have um, spaghetti squash in them which is really exciting those took really well and then down at the end I have four bags that have uh, cauliflower in them down here um, not sure I think they have started to take um, but I'm not positive about that so we're kind of waiting to see these two may not have taken but i think this is our cauliflower i think this little guy right here is our cauliflower so we're going to just wait and see what what happens those were just kind of a last minute we have the seeds let's plant them kind of deal so so far that is our garden and today we're going to plant our cucumbers our peas our beans we have a butternut squash um and we're going to plant all that in our raised beds and I'm really excited to see how that goes. So, we're gonna so these are our starts and um, my plan is to put cucumbers on this side and peas and beans on that side and then um, not sure exactly where I'm going to put our butternut squash but we're going to put that in here as well and see you know and kind of see how that goes and then I do have some onions that I'm probably gonna plant along the edge and then we'll kind of play it by ear with what else we put in here, depending on how much room is left. Hello YouTube family. Just a quick side note. Um, I don't know if you guys can see behind me, but that is a compost pile I started about a year and a half ago. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but I have probably at least 20, maybe up to 30 tomato plants growing in my compost pile. And they're doing so good that they've actually started to bloom now obviously i did not plant these <laughs> but does this mean that the compost pile is doing good or that i should have actually turned it over before now but now i'm kind of anxious to, to see how good that these plants will do so you know what i'm just going to let them grow and give you guys an update from time to time but let me know what you guys think what do you do with your compost is there other than turning it over is there something that i should have done to prevent that um and what are your thoughts how good do you think that those tomatoes will turn out let me know in the comment section below so guys if you liked our video today give it a thumbs up if you like this kind of content please come on back and subscribe and ring that notification bell so that you're notified each time we upload a new video and um Thanks for watching guys and we'll see you on the next video. Bye.